Hello and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution 2. Uh, instead of starting a park build uh, this week, I decided to do a tour of the park we built on stream, which I'm now doing, uh, which is still on Saturdays, but I'm, I'm doing it at a bit of a later time than normally just 12, because um, it's a bit inconvenient for uh, any overseas viewers who want to see. I'm... I'm streaming at a time where they're probably asleep and you know it happens time differences and all that but uh, I'm gonna start streaming around 6 to 7 p.m. on Saturdays I think I'm gonna try I've tried 6 p.m. Uh, last Saturday and I'm gonna try 7 p.m. next Saturday just to see how it goes but um and then we'll stick with the time after that. So let's start with our tour. Hopefully things aren't bugged out like last time. They are a little bit. I can see over there with the Archelon pond. Uh, so this is the entrance area where you can see this lovely fountain. There is also a bathroom for if you just couldn't hold it from flying over. And also um, a shelter for your protection. Uh, just to the side is the uh, visitor center, which is more like a check-in area for the guests. And then following this path down here, we have a, a tower followed by a hatchery. I put a little fence around it just in case I accidentally pressed the wrong button and released them. Uh, I don't think that was ever needed. I haven't got a ranger team, so... I think I looked out. Uh, following the path down here, we'll go that way later. But you'll come to uh, this is oh that's a hatchery for our uh, first aviary. But we'll have a look at that shortly. And you come to the first guest area, which has this um, circled area with a T-Rex skeleton in the middle. I used the mortar. Uh, hotels because I think I thought it suited this area a bit better. I do like the Malta hotels, they're cool. Followed by a steak, ginger beer and books. And then another toilet and I'm sure there's a shelter around here somewhere. Yeah, just there. And in this first enclosure we have our Ceratosauruses. There are four or five of them in here very happy no problems at the moment um, I didn't want to put the electric fence in the water because I'm just like you know I was pretending that if the water if it hits the water it'll just become electrified and kill all the dinosaurs so I blocked it off with rocks um, and it seems to be doing it no goats have gotten out no ceratosauruses have gotten out uh, here you can go into a viewing gallery which takes you over to this area where I don't know what it says we can see something where we have a uh, brachiosaur and I think I put the penters in here but we'll have a proper look at these as well so that's the back viewer yeah, Pentaceratops. So the pen Pentas seem to be um, hanging around here. And there's some large Brachiosaurs. And then coming back around this way, we have another toilet and another emergency shelter. And we also have the gallery for in here for our Tapanjaras which have some really cool unique colour patterns and I chose these because I really like those colour patterns it's actually one of my favourite flyers even though it's not like a massive flying beast but it's just it's quite pretty it's, it's like the parrot of the Jurassic World and we jump on the monorail station um, it does loop round but it goes this way so we'll follow it this way for now uh, over here we have our beach siding um, guest facilities with an arcade uh, bubble tea vegan buffet and some designer goods 
we have a remote viewing entrance which takes us into the lagoon which I don't think we can see anything from this side also we're not out of the water but we'll go to we'll go to this one because this is where they seem to be hanging around we've got the dunks in this large lagoon four dunks for our entertainment again very happy very uh, and yeah they seem to be doing quite well in here and we're no longer glitched out with these um, above ground we have a very large um, tour here so let's ride the tour in uh, in this one we have um, the Alamosaurus I think we have Hoyanga as well as long with some mutter butters I think and a few others let's see what we can see Well, there's some Alamo, and there's a tree. Ah, Gigantspine as well. I'm looking, but I can't see anything. That's a branch. There's something behind us there. But I can't see it now. Just the way the hills are. The most dominant dinosaur in the group is recognized as the leader. However, not all changes in leadership are the result of conflict. Some of the more social dinosaur species achieve the dominant stages through intimidation alone. Looks like Curry Fosaurus as well. I just remember this was a, a very uh, long time to transport all these dinosaurs. I had to triple speed it. Otherwise it would have been an hour of just watching helicopters drop stuff off. Um, any? Can we see anything? I think there's def there's parasol there's parasols in here as well. I put the parasols in. Yeah, Griefosaurus and parasols are in here. There may be mutter butters as well. There probably are some high angers um, hiding behind that forest. Because uh, they keep straying away from their food. With the help of a paleobotanical team, prehistoric plant life can be biogenetically engineered and then carefully introduced to the park, forming a sustainable. It is quite curious how they um, get the soil prepared as well. Oh, there's Edmontosaurus as well. Edmontosaurus, Crefosaurus, the Parasaurus, Alamos, um, Giant Spinosaurus. I'm, I was thought there was another species of Stegosaur in here. Or maybe um, Gallimimus or Struthia. That looks like a Dryosaur.
Uh, in this little section, well, I say little section, it goes, it's quite long and wide. There's uh, pyroraptors. And they all seem to be at the top because they're jerks. But we'll have a better look at them in a bit. Since uh, they're all at the top, we'll jump out. So you'd see them coming back through. But yeah, there's a big uh, pack of Pyroraptor next to the T-Rex enclosure. We'll have a look over here at the other dinosaurs we missed. A very sleepy Alamosaurus, which we missed. Two very sleepy Alamosauruses. Oop. Yeah, we have got a Hyanga in here as well. I thought we had two types of Stegosaur. And the Giant Spine. Uh, it did show over here that there are some. And they're upset because there's lack of food. But the food's up there. So deal with it. Uh, what else? Gorifosaurus, Edmontosaurus, Parasaur, there was something running around, let's have a quick look. Over here, hiding in the little bit of food, the Dryos. And now crossing the road. So a very large spacious enclosure. But they just don't stick to their food area. Uh, over in this section we have the amphitheatre. With our two Tyrannosaurs who occasionally come in here to eat uh, meat when they can't be bothered to hunt. We extended their beach and water supply. And just cut into this enclosure. Which kind of, this pond looks like a sauropod in some shape or form. Where are our T-Rexes? They're hugging the... There they are. They're coming into the amphitheatre. Can you... So does this act like a, a hotel or just somewhere for people to... view? They're thinking about it. They're lying down. Are you coming to eat or are you just coming to... You coming in? Nope, they're disappearing. So, around by the amphitheatre, we obviously can go back to the beach enclosure. Uh, the beach... Uh, resort and again another hotel and another few uh, shops for people sushi water action figures and then we follow this around again and we come to our large I think I put petrosaurs and well the trinodons and dimorphodons in here Again, another very big, large bird cage on the beach, surrounded by trees. Another hotel, another little courtyard area, and over here we've got the. Oop! I didn't want to edit connection. I want to look at the view. Archaeocanthosaurus. In a very large spacious enclosure. Probably should have been for the T-Rex. But I wanted them in the amphitheatre. And then jumping across here. We come across to. Uh, this was actually the second section we built. But is the. Fifth on our tour. Over on the beach we have a couple enclosures. We have the, the Dimorphodon. 
that are no longer starving or thirsty because for whatever reason now they found their food and water I had to put another food source down and that seems to have settled it and they can walk to the beach now and then over here we have our carnotaurs who are headbutting goats at this moment in time going to do it again and in the water oh, that was kind of glitched we have five in this uh, spacious beach enclosure which again they are very happy with more stores that are scattered around uh, we also have these are kind of glitched but we have the Archelons in here again we are not above water I might have to put that into a short because that was random it was cool but random Yeah, that middle section's missing. It's on top. Uh, we also have a viewing gallery over here. We'll raise it back up. Hopefully we'll see some Archelons on the rocks. There's one coming out. I do like the Archelons. I've been begging for a, a giant turtle. And still begging for a, cro a giant uh, crocodile. For ages. Uh, this way, this path just leads to a public beach for people. And over in this enclosure, we have uh, two Amargosauruses and also Pachyrhinosaurus. This island was built on a freshwater lake. They are not drinking salt water. And then we uh, shuck a bra over the mountain to a little, uh, another little beach area. With a hotel where we also have uh, our Sukumimus and Baryonyx enclosures. It's really just one big one. And over here, hopefully. Oh, we can't quite see. Oh, there's a baryonyx running through the trees. Coming right for us. Undecided. Eh, kind of coming right for us. But they have a couple of ponds and then their enclosure is surrounded by water. Which is very helpful for them. And then we follow that path and we're back back at the large herbivore enclosure so that is effectively the stream park this took us uh, a good few weeks to do a couple of uh, two hour streams I could I could try and make one go for a lot longer I just think people get bored with me doing the same things over and over again on the same map they want to see something a bit different but if that's not true let me know uh, please leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you all in the next one bye for now